We'd like to welcome all of those in attendance. We'd certainly like to welcome President of the Toronto Raptors, Masai Ujiri, as well as Drake. They're joining us here prior to the Toronto Raptors and the Detroit Pistons playing tonight. Uh, real quick, my name is Matt Devlin. I'll give some opening remarks. After that, we'll hear from Masai Ujiri and Drake, a brief Q&A, and then following that, a photo op. Welcome, Toronto. Sounds good. Welcome, Toronto. It's a theme focused on culture and community. The Raptors and Drake will celebrate the future of art, culture, and basketball. And how will they do that? They'll do it by giving back. The Raptors and Drake are elevating their relationship so that not only that it celebrates this team, its fans, and of course this wonderful city, but it gives back to Toronto and the game of basketball. The Raptors will host six Welcome Toronto themed nights per year for the next three years, beginning with January 26th as well as January 28th of this season. The team, and I'm sure a lot of the kids here have already seen it, the new OVO edition uniforms, and then of course, the court that has been talked about now for quite some time that has been designed by OVO, the custom black and gold court. As part of the Welcome Toronto program, Drake and the Raptors will donate a million dollars to refurbish 12 local community basketball courts over the next three years. This support of the community will also benefit youth-focused programs through MLSC Launchpad and The Remix, two projects that give young people the tools to be successful, whether it's in sports or the arts. And then the Raptors and Drake, OVO, they're not done just there. They'll also support Canada basketball as part of the Welcome Toronto program with a gift of $2 million. At, at this time, I'd like uh, to turn it over to the president of the Toronto Raptors, Masai Ujiri. Masai? Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you all for, uh, for coming out. Another great day, I think, uh, uh, for the Raptors organization and uh, this great uh, partnership uh, with Drake. Um, so many things we wanted to, I think, um, identify here and uh, giving back uh, to the fans uh, was very important. Uh, for us, uh, I think this partnership, a um, million dollars, I, I think, um, is strong for us, I think, in community and uh, what we're trying to do uh, to grow the game of basketball. Um, giving back to our communities is, is huge. Uh, giving back to basketball and Canada basketball, um, I think um, we've, we've always looked for ways to do this and um, I think this is a great way uh, not only to, uh, because of the partnership or because of Canada basketball, but I think there is momentum in basketball uh, with the youth. Uh, we see all the players around the league and all the youth around college and even in basketball in Canada and um, the way the national teams are doing um, and, and we're proud. Uh, and I know Drake is very proud uh, uh, to support this and uh, has made this um, one of um, uh, the big things that we wanted to do. Um, and we can't do it any better than um, the King of Toronto, uh, the King of uh, Canada, I say, in entertainment, uh, in human lives, everything we're seeing going on uh, all over the world now, uh, to have somebody special like this uh, for us, I think is, uh, is huge. And uh, we appreciate all the support, all the support from the fans. We have to make Toronto, we have to, we have to make Toronto the best atmosphere in the NBA. And it's becoming the best atmosphere in the NBA. I can't wait to go to every single Raptors game and we're damn proud of it. And we thank Drake for his support. So thank you. Yeah, I want to say uh, thank you. Uh, thank you to everybody for coming out. We always appreciate uh, all the support, myself and Masai. Uh, this has been a partnership that we've been... Uh, we've had going on for, for quite some time now. And I think, um, you know, the key is always to grow. The key is always to evolve. And, you know, it's nice to have the uniforms and the, and the fancy cord and the merchandise and stuff like that. But uh, what was most important to me was 
just a call to action, you know? And I think um, this day and age, it's really easy to get on social media and talk about, you know, things that we'd, we'd like to see change or things that we think are wrong. And there's, you know, then there's, then there's an opportunity when you're presented with one to be able to do something about it. So um, for us, uh, my, my biggest thing that I'm most proud of in this partnership is, is the million dollars that we're gonna be uh, giving to the city to, to uh, redo these courts and, you know, hopefully create an amazing atmosphere for anyone in that community to come out and either play casual basketball or, you know, potentially breed uh, the next generation of Canadian basketball superstars, which goes to, goes to obviously, again, our, our other donation to $2 million to Canada Basketball. Uh, we've produced some incredible talent. Uh, I don't think it's going to stop any time, anytime soon. And we've got incredible people like Masai at the, at the helm of the ship. So um, I'm, I'm just really excited to, to still be here after all these years. Um, it was surreal when it first happened, and it's still surreal to be sitting here with this guy and being able to give back to the best city in the world. So, you know, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm, I'm honored. And again, thank you guys for, for believing in us. And I promise you, Raptors basketball, Canada basketball, and Toronto as a whole will only get better. So thank you again. At, at this time, we would like to open it up for a couple of brief uh, Q&As. And then uh, if you could acknowledge who you are and who you're with, that would be appreciated. There is a microphone here. And so we'll begin in the back. Josh Lewinberg, Josh Lewinberg TSN. A uh, question for both of you guys. Uh, you sat here four and a half years ago to announce your partnership. In that time, how has the relationship evolved relative to how you expected it to be once you started it? Uh, on, on our part, I think it's, you can't ask for anything better. You know, I, I, sometimes I think uh, there's always the question whether um, uh, Drake is here or not. Uh, and I'll answer my small part because um, Drake is a man of the world, and we understand that. You know, we understand the business he is in and, and what he does, and we're proud of him. That's what has brought him here in the beginning. So I know sometimes there were all those talks, and, um, but I, I think the relationship stayed strong. Uh, and um, the best thing about it is uh, I think uh, there's a friendship. There's a friendship with, um, with future. Um, with Shannon, all these people, Dave, that help us, uh, our organization, uh, I think uh, it's very strong for us and everybody puts the effort, I think, to build this and grow this even more. Yeah, I think, I, I think um, again, you know, for me, uh, initially, it was uh, an incredible opportunity. And um, I think that, uh, obviously, you know, I wish I could be here all the time. I wish I could be at every game. Uh, my career, unfortunately, doesn't allow for it. But I think the key is just to make... Uh, make my presence felt uh, even when I can't be here. And with things like this uh, and all the moves that we made even in the last couple of weeks, um, I, I, I just, I'm looking forward to, to continuing uh, on the path that we're on. And I feel like uh, the only, you know, uh, growth is inevitable with this partnership. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's something that I'm still proud and excited about. And uh, it's something that still makes all other rappers jealous. So, I mean, you know, still. I will say one more thing, you know, whether Drake is in Australia or everywhere he's been, every time the Raptors are playing, he's texting, he's asking, you know, and I, I think, uh, and it's in good times, bad times, when the team is playing poorly, when the team is playing well. Um, for me, we can ask for, uh, I, I think, the number one supporter of the team and the, the city. So um, we do appreciate this partnership uh, to the fullest. Karen Bliss from Billboard and Samaritan Mag. Drake, the Remix Project kind of encourages kids from disadvantaged areas of Toronto to get involved with recording arts, with music. So what role do they play in this? And also, I bought a basketball this summer. I'm old. I was not taught how to play basketball when I was in school. How will this help encourage females to kind of, you know, learn the game and play? Uh, well, uh, I'll start with your first question. Um, Remix Project is, uh, is a place where actually I, uh, I grew up in Remix Project. Um, so where I started making a lot of my early music, uh, started really socializing with a lot of the kids there, where I pretty much shaped my career. Um, it's an amazing thing that's been uh, formed in this city, and they're an incredible partner to have um, in this. So uh, yeah, Remix, Remix Project obviously just plays an integral part 
in, uh, in uplifting the city and giving kids opportunities. So I think it's only right that they, uh, they partner with us on this. And your second question about, um, ba I think basketball is an all-inclusive sport. I think it's for everybody. So uh, whether you're female, male, young, old, I mean, it, it's, it's just going to be, uh, they're going to be amazing places to come and, 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 and play um, in these communities. And uh, yeah, we just, we just encourage people to uh, get out there and see the beautiful courts that we build and hopefully bring the community together. So hopefully that involves everybody. I want to thank everyone for attending here. Thank you again, Masai, as well as Drake, to your commitment to basketball and the arts and to this community and to the Toronto Raptors. Uh, we deeply appreciate it. Uh, and certainly thank all of the fans that are here as well. At this time, we're going to have a photo op, uh, and that will conclude uh, this evening's uh, press conference. And we really appreciate everyone joining us here today. And again, thank you very much to both of you. And thank you all for joining us. We'll see you at the game. Go Raptors.